as we said, we are trying to give you words of wisdom that could help you live a life that blazes for Christ. We are not saying that you are there and God has completely forgotten you. God loves you and God wants to call you to a healthy life. He wants to call you back to a place where he longs for you to have that environment where he can comfortably come in and use you for the glory of his kingdom. He has a special purpose that he has for you. He has a unique way he wants to use you. But once you wake up and decide, you know, to set yourself apart for that work, then he will use you mightily. But for now, we want to ask Mr. Risco to give us one closing word in less than a minute. I want to say this one last word, that God has called us to excellency. Mm. He has called us to diligence. The Bible says, seest thou a man stand, I mean diligent in all things, that, that man stands before kings and not mm. mean men. Yes. Now, the word there for kings and, mean, and, and not mean men is greatness. Yeah. And not shallow things, ordinary mm. things. So if I want to say that if you position yourself according to the word of God that I've just shared within that scripture and you seek to be excellent in all things that if it is in your body, you're eating well, you care about yourself, you stand before greatness. You drink a lot of water. You, you, yeah, you take enough water. My, my sister was telling us of how the body needs 70% of water, water. To, to, to really function. Yes. They're supposed to. So you, you be excellent in that way. You make sure you, you are so nutritious in your body, you, you're strong enough to live because the glory of the youth is their strength. Mm. Yes. You get what I'm saying? Yes. And not only that, but also diligent in the things of the spirit. Praise the Lord. Mm. Because now when I talk the, to the Christians now who are listening to me, the health of the body from the nutrition in the foods that we take is very important but there's this one which is higher and better the spirit mm -hmm. invest in the things of the spirit read the word of god pray the more because it is the one way in which you can be edified in your spirit mm -hmm. edified we look at a man and we are sure in amid these turmoils this man can still stand because his spirit is strong that is one number two mm -hmm. when the spirit is strong it will eventually indebt the soul and body yes. mm -hmm. into subjection. Amen. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I love you. Thank you. But I want to say, say thank you once again, but right now let us hear our Q&A, which is our expert opinion on the subject of the day. Don't touch it there. We'll be back after our Q&A.